and investment has challenges. Could you talk about one of the crisis situations that you handled? Oh, well, we uh, deal with uh, uh, several situations on, on a regular basis. Um, the property management company brings it up to us and then uh, sometimes we need to get uh, very intimately involved. And uh, actually last week we had a situation which we could uh, uh, classify as a crisis. Um, so uh, on, on Monday night, uh, like 8.30 or so, the power went out. There was a, a noise and uh, and a big explosion like noise and then the, um, uh, the the lights went out for about 150 of the 450 units so one block basically was without power and uh, it, it is summer it is hot in Houston and uh, but unfortunately there was nothing we could do uh, the property management company called uh, Center Point Energy to come and fix it and uh, we were told on Tuesday morning that they would come back later. And uh, you know, morning became afternoon, then became like 6 p.m. when uh, the vendor came in. And uh, they fixed the issue, but then they told us that, hey, we fixed one part of the issue, which we can fix. And now there's another part to this whole electrical situation where you need to get a, uh, another vendor to, to come in. Um, so that became uh, a huge problem because now we are uh, the second night without power and uh, tenants were freaking out and I, I, I can understand. I would do the same thing if, if I were in, in their situation. Um, so we had to get to work um, addressing this from multiple levels and, uh, and, and to make things worse, the, uh, the, the TV crew showed up at the property and they said, hey, power is down here, blah, blah, blah. And um, uh, unfortunately, when the TV crew came there, uh, the property manager was a little uh, uh, rude in, in managing the TV crew and, and she wanted the property management crew out of the property. Uh, so that did not work very well. Um, and uh, later on, the mayor stopped by um, and, uh, you know, because the tenants were calling the mayor and the TV station. So, uh, so it, it became a full-blown crisis by Tuesday night. Um, but again, the, uh, we got the electrician looking at it. Uh, they were qualified. They've been uh, doing this work for a long time, high-voltage type work. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, middle of the night, on Tuesday night, they said that they're not able to fix it and they don't have the right equipment to fix it. So now we are uh, on to Wednesday morning, so it's like the third day in a sense without power and it is really sad. Um, uh, you know, and, and, and at this point, uh, the mayor uh, was very helpful. They send like eight to 10 um, buses um, so that we can have cooling for, for the tenants. So it's, uh, we were, until then we were getting tenants to take um, to, to visit some of the other vacant units and sit there so that they can get the uh, cooling. Um, so that was happening, but then these buses helped a lot as well. So now the tenants could also sit in these buses. Um, so that was going on. But from our standpoint, we had uh, three things to deal with. Uh, one, uh, the, the tenant situation, which is very critical, right? That's one. Um, the second is dealing with the actual issue, uh, the electrical, whatever that issue is, and oversight over the vendor, making sure that they're taking the right decisions. And third is, is the management of the communication to both the tenants and, and the TV and, and the mayor's office. So we started up like a, a hotline of sorts where we had everybody on hourly reporting. So we had the property management company, actually the property management companies. Uh, chief operating officer was there manning the call with us. Um, so, and, and then we had folks from the apartment office, from the, uh, from the uh, apartment itself, we have the property management team there. They were on the call. And then uh, we also had other staff who were dealing with the tenant issue. So it was a three-pronged approach and we had a true uh, crisis management uh, uh, going on. And uh, with these hourly calls, um, and staying on top of this, uh, by end of Wednesday, uh, the uh, electrical company was 
uh, able to resolve the uh, problem. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, these are things that happen and, um, and we are glad that worse things didn't happen to us. We've, we're aware of other people who have had uh, worse situations that they had to deal with. So yeah, it happens. It, it does happen, and I, it was great to hear how you manage that and handle it for the for the for the tenants. And I mean, obviously, their safety is very important to you in, in your in your company in your business. So, Sadi, again, thank you so much for all this great information. I look forward to the next time that we are we are together on this show to learn even more about what you provide in the business and for our community. So thank you so much, Sanji. I really appreciate you. Oh, Michelle, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you, and we'll be right back after this commercial break.